Hey, my dark darlings. What if I told you you could get high quality organic and non-GMO groceries delivered to your door for a lot less than you're paying now and help out families in need? That's what I'm doing since I discovered Thrive Market. As a proud Thrive Market member, I get the products I love and my paid membership provides a free one for someone in need, like a low-income family, teacher, veteran, or first responder. With Thrive Market, I love that I can take my time choosing from a variety of tasty organic spices and specialty sauces, like Kitchen and Love's artichoke pesto sauce. It's taking my home-cooked meals to the next level. Everything's delivered and I'm paying up to 25 to 50% less than I do in the store. I got the annual membership because I'll be using Thrive a lot. Try Thrive Market and become a member risk-free. Go to thrivemarket.com slash scary. Join today and you'll get up to $20 in shopping credit towards your first order. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash scary to start your risk-free membership and get up to $20 towards your first order. Thrivemarket.com slash scary. Hey, I'm Markia. Wanna hear something scary? Grandma Dearest It's instilled from a young age to do anything for family. Whether it's the family you're born into or the family you've chosen. For good or for ill, family comes first. There were three things I had to do in the morning when going to grandmother's house. Feed the cats, be out in 15 minutes, and do not, under any circumstances, make myself known. Grandma mustn't see you. If she does, it will startle her, my uncle Stanley asserted. He explained that my grandmother had fallen ill and no longer remembered family members. Uncle Stanley took care of her and he'd asked me to help by feeding her cats before heading off to school. In exchange, I'd get some extra cash for whatever I wanted. Still, it was weird not being able to interact with Grandma. She was such a force of nature and I missed her cooking. But Uncle Stanley would often tell me that you had to be willing to make sacrifices for your loved ones to keep them safe and comfortable. As I walked through the back door attached to the kitchen, I saw her. Her back turned while staring at the TV. She seemed still, unnaturally still under the big wool blanket that covered her. But then she did love her programs. Her two cats, Destiny and Angel, were lined up and ready to eat, so I fed them. I put up the food, pulled out my phone, and gathered my things. As I started to head towards the back door, I looked back at my grandma, once again wishing I could sit beside her. The next several days that followed were the same. Get to the house, feed the cats, and then leave. This continued until the day I stayed too long. I lost track of time standing in the kitchen watching a video a friend sent me on my phone. Suddenly, I had a strange feeling and, checking the time, realized I'd been there much longer than I'd been before. Peeking out at Grandma, I saw that she was sitting as usual, staring at her TV. Yet still, the feeling intensified. It felt as if something inside of me was telling me that I should get out. I decided to ignore it because I was with my Grandma. Her house was the safest place to be. Pouring out the dry cat food, the sound of the kibble rang out in the empty kitchen. The happy cats came over to eat, and that's when I noticed it. There was red on the cat's fur. It was blood. Concerned, I checked them for scratches, but there weren't any injuries on either of them. Just the blood. And then, a trail of it heading out of the kitchen. Looking out into the living room, Grandma was gone. The TV was still going, but she was missing. Her discarded blanket on the ground. Grandma? I called out to her. Some floorboards deeper in the house creaked. The trail of blood from the kitchen continued down the hallway. Unsettled, I fumbled my phone out to call my uncle. As soon as I hit call, a ringtone went off in the house. Uncle Stanley? I called out hesitantly, walking towards the sound. The phone continued to ring unanswered. The ringtone in the house continued as well. Grandma, are you okay? Uncle Stanley? Are you there? My voice was small and shaking as I headed down the hall. Grandma's bedroom door was ajar, and I heard rattling noises coming from inside. As I entered the room, I couldn't believe what I saw. There were dark stains on the floor and scratches on the walls. My uncle stood there next to the bed. The ringing stopped as he pulled out his phone and ended my call. 
The rattling came from my grandmother's feet. She was restrained on her bed with chains attached to the bottom post. She was almost unrecognizable. Her face was decayed, her pupils small in the white of her eyes as she snarled and growled at my uncle. What's going on? I shuddered out. Apprehensively, Uncle Stanley looked over at me. Why are you still here? I told you to never stay long. Grandma is sick and just needs a little help. But I guess you know the truth now, so you'll have to help me feed her too. I watched horrified as Uncle Stanley pulled a human limb out of a leaking bag near his feet. Holding it out towards her, he sighed. Family comes first. Smiling down at her as she latched on and feasted on it. Something Scary stickers are here. We've just launched the first of our collectible Something Scary stickers. You can see the Teespring shelf on our channel or check them out on Teespring. We will be releasing new stickers every month so you can collect all of your favorite monsters. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, the show would not be possible without your support. If you want to keep these videos coming, please visit patreon.com slash snarled. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings. Sweet dreams.